What's up guys, Damien Keyes here. Welcome back to the channel. So as you can see, summertime shirt, sunny day in Brighton. I can't see it obviously because it's outside and, and I'm stuck in here. But I just want to say a massive thank you and hello to all of the new subscribers because over the last week or two we have had an influx and we are mm, this close from 100,000 subscribers, which is ridiculous. If I can get 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, you can do anything because that is amazing. So thank you so much. But uh, I don't know what we're going to do for a 100,000 subscriber party. I reckon massive party here. 100,000 of you in here, socially distant, see what we can do. So let's talk about the ultimate 24 hour music release strategy. So I've split this video into four sections. The first section is how to get the most out of your release. Then I wanna talk about the day leading up to your release. And then after that, I wanna talk about the release date itself. And then after that, what it is that you should expect and want from your audience and what your audience should be expecting from you. But I know what you're thinking, you're saying, but Damien, the day before your release strategy and the day of your release strategy, that is more than 24 hours. Aha, so this is the way I've done it. I have done it the day before from 10 o'clock in the morning until 10 o'clock at night, then you sleep because everyone has to sleep. Then you wake up and then 10 o'clock in the morning and 10, until 10 o'clock at night. Those are the two 12 hours that are gonna make up 24 hours. Yes, we can get pedantic and say it's not 24 hours in a row, but this is the way that we can maximize 24 hours to get your music, to get your single release out there and get as much momentum as possible. Now, when it comes to releasing your music, there is one thing that is more important than everything else. And that most important thing is timing. Do you get it? That joke because of the timing, doesn't matter. Timing has always been so crucial to a release and it always will be. Timing makes a release into a hit. It gets you into the chart because this isn't about putting something out and saying, right, over the next couple of days or the next couple of weeks, we'll start pushing it. This is about rallying the troops, making sure that everyone is ready to do the one thing at that one specific moment, at a specific time, so that when they do that, that gives it ultimate power. And you can get a smaller act into the charts if you get the timing right. So this is why we need to maximize that 24 hours. Yes, we're gonna have a lead up for a month. Yes, we're gonna push it for a month, but those 24 hours are absolutely key. So what you'll need for these 24 hours is very, very simple. You will need a calendar, so crucial, like this. So I've got my calendar. I've made a very rough calendar so we can start so you can make your own calendar. But I've done this on Google calendars. Very, very simple. I've done it as a Thursday and a Friday. Friday being the release date because on the whole you release music on a Friday. Don't shoot me if you don't. It's not the end of the world. But in general you release music on a Friday. Um, so Thursday then is the promo day. Friday is the big release. And as you can see in here, I have got everything from starting the day with Instagram stories. We've got to make banners so that we can actually put banners, uh, new banners onto uh, all our social media platforms. Uh, we're going to do a listening party. We can promote the listening party. I've even put some lunch in there if you want some lunch. There's plenty of one-to-one -one time, which we'll get onto in a minute. We can preview songs. We can boost previews. We've got thank you videos. Um, we've got changing banners, putting the YouTube video live, how we're gonna do with Instagram. Everything is in here. Now, the whole point of this is to stop you going, right, it's live, what do we do? And then going, um, let's take to social media and tell everybody. We go, no, 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 we are not gonna see what happens. We are going to make this list. We're gonna have everything in a calendar. We are gonna dissect our day. So every five, 10 and 15 minute slots, is taken up with something very, very important, which is gonna help us build that momentum and get that promo out there. The other really crucial things you need, very simply, a to-do list. So literally, pad of paper, write down all of the things that you need to do over that 24 hours so you can start ticking things off, which A, then starts to give you some feeling of that you're doing something right as you're ticking stuff off, makes you feel good, gets you that momentum. The other thing you need is reminders, whether that's on your calendar or whether that's on your phone, I want your phone pinging up over that 24 hours. I want every notification on. I want your reminders on. I want your phone telling you what to do and dictating your day. Don't forget, five minutes time, you've got to start this. Don't forget, in 10 minutes time, you've got to start doing that. Bang, you've had a DM from this person on Instagram. 
get back to them. Your phone calendar slash reminders are gonna keep you going through the entire process. And lastly, you need targets. Targets are so crucial. What does good look like? What are we doing? What are we trying to achieve? But not only that, but targets are amazing for the audience as well. We wanna bring them into the excitement. Guys, I wanna try and get a thousand plays on this YouTube video. I want you to help me. This is what we're gonna do. Who's with me? At which point, you've laid down that gauntlet, you've given people the exciting challenge, and people will go, yeah, I wanna help. I wanna be a part of this. This is a challenge, this is a party, this is something I can get involved with, which is much stronger than saying, guys, can you go and listen to this song, please? What we're saying is, can you listen to this song, please? Here's the purpose. Here's our challenge. Here's what we're trying to do. And that is where people can jump on this. So you need to think about the targets and goals that you want to achieve with this release. Whether that is sales, whether that's views, whether it's listens, whatever it is, you get to dictate it. You get to dictate what good looks like. And then you get to bring the audience into that challenge with you. Next is the day before the release. You have 12 hours to rally the troops, to get everybody ready so that when you say go, everyone does something. I always think of it as that scene in 300 or in Braveheart where everyone is standing waiting and the enemy is approaching and the person who's leading is saying wait, knowing that if one person breaks and everyone starts to go at different times, they are gonna be a weaker unit. Whereas if they say wait, hold, everyone go at the same time, that is when you win the battle. And it's no difference to this. So this is the period before that where what we're actually saying now is everyone get ready. This is what you are going to need to do tomorrow. And so I am preparing you for that. You are gonna make this into a well-oiled machine and you are gonna tell everyone the what, the when, and the why. Why everyone's doing this, what they need to do, when they need to do it. So everyone is in the same boat. Now you can do that with one-to-ones, I would recommend. You can do that via WhatsApp groups, which you can set up. You can do DMs, you can do comments, you can do social media, but effectively the message is, Everyone get ready, I need your help, we're gonna do this together, we are gonna make this a special day, I can't wait, I'm very excited. Other things that you can do the day before for preparation is things like banners. You know that you can change the banner on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, any other platform, so why not? Why not make a banner specifically which says, out now, it's got that call to action on it, it's got your artwork on it. You can change your banner on YouTube at any time. You can change your banner on Facebook at any time. You are getting everything ready so that you are putting the jigsaw puzzle together. You're putting your banners up first thing in the morning. So if someone goes to your YouTube, they see it. If someone goes to your Facebook, they see it. You can then pin posts, you can get your links all ready. So everything is in one bundle, ready for it to go as soon as you wake up the next morning. You might have a listening party the next day, which I would recommend. You might not be able to have a launch party. You might be able to by that point, but even if you can't, you can have a listening party. Say seven o'clock till eight o'clock, we're gonna have a listening party on Instagram Live. I'm inviting everybody. You can even start giving people previews of the music, previews of the music video, just to get a bit more excited for the next day. Now, the way we do this is so much about the one-to-ones. What we wanna do is we wanna get into those DMs, we wanna get into the comments, but also, this doesn't just have to be about social media, you got a phone, text, WhatsApp, any other message, messaging service that you can get hold of as well as social media. You can also do emails. Why don't you email people who are on your email list? Anything that you can do on the one-to-one. -one. This is where bands fall down. They make a post and they go, I stuck it on my social media. Everyone should see it. Maybe we'll stick a tenner or $20 into it to try and actually make sure that everyone sees it. Nobody cares. What you've done there is you've made a statement. What you've got to do is start a conversation and the one-to-one. -one. Hey, bro, haven't seen you in a while. I just want to let you know, I need, you, I need a favor. I need you to listen to my track when it comes out tomorrow. Can I count on you? Much more likely for them to go, yeah, sure, send me the link when it comes out. Then if you put it on your Facebook and just go, I'm sure he will, probably, maybe. But if he doesn't, we'll see. Now on the day before, you are gonna post plenty of social media. You probably will post something about the artwork. You probably will post something about a preview. You might say tomorrow's coming, all of those things. Absolutely, that's expected. That should go in your to-do list. That should go in your calendar. But it's setting people up to get ready for the next day. That is where you get the most amount of momentum. And then, 
It's release day. Bang, release day comes, you wake up, it is go, go, go. You've got your calendar, your reminders, and your to-do list. You need to change banners, you need to get the videos up, you need to make sure that it is now out there and you need to start spreading the word. So, banners, every link that you've possibly got now goes to the place that you want to be promoted, YouTube, Spotify, whatever it is. But either way, every link, including your email, your social media, every banner should have a call to action. You are now setting yourself up for the day. Then when it comes to your targets for social media, number one, you've got to get that video on YouTube. That's going to be the big player. But it also can go on Facebook and it can be pinned. You can start to promote that on Instagram. Over the day, I want you to have at least five Instagram feed posts. That's right, at least five. You can do more than that. This is a big day for you. This is not a one post day. This is five or 10 posts on your feed. It might piss people off. Deal with it because what you will do is you're saying, I might piss you off today, but if you don't listen to this, I'm coming at you. I want everyone to do this. This is my day. This is my birthday. It's my party. And so people will deal with it for a couple of hours of that day if you are posting regularly. When it comes to your stories, I want 20, 30, 40, 50 stories. I want the whole day documented. I want how you feel. I want the emotion. Every time someone actually posts and tags, I want that to be shared. So you're looking after them and you're telling everybody else that if they share something with you in it, they're going to get tagged and they're going to get shared as well. This is your day on social media. It doesn't matter if you post too much on this day. Next, playlists. Playlists are absolutely crucial. And yes, we'd love to get on Release Radar. And yes, we'd love to get on a bunch of other big playlist. But until that point, we are going to start doing the groundwork. We're going to start getting the momentum, which means you have a target of at least 20 playlists. This is where you go and you say to everyone, right, we, we know the drill. We know what you need to do. Firstly, you need to start listening, but I need you to go and set up a playlist on your Spotify or whatever streaming platform you use. The rules are simple. You go and make your own playlist and you put our new song into that playlist, ideally the first song, but you can put it where you want, and you get to make your own perfectly created mixtape. Now, what that does is a couple of things. Number one, it tells Spotify that it's been listened to. It tells Spotify that your song is in another playlist, no matter how small, but also something else. You're playing to people people's ego. They've just made the ultimate mixtape. They've just made something that they're proud of. Are they going to listen to that? You better believe they will. Of course they will. I've done it loads of times. Of course I'll make a playlist for you. I whack it in the playlist. Then the next day, sat there and go, oh yeah, that playlist I made. Brilliant. Boosh. Who's playing? You. Then we spend most of the day, most of the day in the one-to-ones. That's where we get the most amount of traction at this level. We start getting in and saying, do you know my track is out? I really love it. Here's a link. Could you go and listen to it? If they respond, say, I don't suppose you could put it in a playlist. I don't suppose you could share it. Be cheeky. Just ask. What's the worst they're going to say? No, they're going to ignore you. Who cares? Get, get the ask in there. Try and get this music in front of more people. The micro influence. Try and get it on, onto another playlist. Try and get it onto another story. But all of that is going to happen in the DMs. And by DMs, I don't just mean Instagram DMs. I mean Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, email, text, WhatsApp, anything at all to actually get this piece of music in front of people. With any good release comes a launch party. Now, because of lockdown, and you might not be able to have a launch party, but you can certainly have an e-launch party. You can have a listening party. So why not say to everyone, we're gonna have a listening party, which is basically a chance for me to play this to you live. This is a chance for us to have a party, have a few e-drinks and just have a chat. Just come and be a part. And, and for me to be able to say thank you, for me to be able to share this and celebrate this with you and tell you whether we hit that mark that we were aiming for, why can't we have that at say seven o'clock till eight o'clock? And lastly, the end of the day, once you've done all of this promo and you've just hustled all the way through the day, the end of the day, really, really important, at least two hours, thank yous. You go back in and you thank everyone. You do exactly the same as when you were asking. You go back into the DMs. You thank everybody personally. You don't just put a big thing and go, cheers, everyone. You say, no, 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 I'm going to thank everybody. I'm going to get into the DMs and I'm going to thank people personally by name. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my emails. I'm going to thank everyone personally. Anyone who's been involved in this needs to get a thank you because... You're going to be doing this again in a month's time. You're going to need their help one more time. And if it's been fun enough, they absolutely will join. And so will a bunch of other people.
Now, obviously you're gonna carry on promoting this. This is just the first 24 hours. This is where we get the most amount of momentum. You're gonna carry on posting and boosting, possibly putting some Facebook ads together, trying to get people across to Spotify, I get it. But this is the key time. That, that lead up and that release day, that's the most amount of momentum that you can possibly get with your single. So this is where you need the most amount of work. Now, before you get started with any of this stuff, you need to let your know what is expected of your audience and you need to know what to expect of your audience. And more importantly, what does your audience expect of you during this process? So what should you expect from your audience and how should you cue this up? Number one is they are gonna play the track, obviously. You want them to play the track. The next thing you'd love them to do is you'd love them to make a playlist. And the playlist should be 15 to 20 songs and it's their playlist. They get to craft their own beautiful playlist that they're more likely to listen to. So leave that bit to them. But that's the second bit. And thirdly, why not make the artwork available so that they can actually hold up the artwork and take a picture of themselves with the artwork and share that to their stories so they can tag you and you can then share that to your stories. Again, you are providing the value and you are saying thank you. If you're gonna do that, you need to make sure that the artwork is available. So why not make the artwork into a PDF and start pushing that all over your socials. If you wanna take a picture with your artwork, or with our artwork, then here is a PDF. All you've gotta do is click the button, press print, and it will pop up and you can hold that. If you do, we will reshare the picture of you with a tag saying thank you. That's pretty good value. And that's pretty much all you need. You just need to say, just need you to listen to the track, maybe make a playlist. If you wanna do a picture with a story, holding the artwork just to promote to your audience, that would be great, but that's enough. And that's what I'll be promoting in the one-to-ones. But when it comes to the other side, what is expected of you, you got a tough 24 hours. You have got a lot of work to do. So here's what's expected of, of you. Number one, you respect the one-to-one. -one. At this level, it is so much about relationships and getting into the DMs and emails, so you respect that process. You put in plenty of hours into each of those 12-hour days, so you've got time to talk to people. The next thing is you answer every comment every DM, every email, every text message, and every WhatsApp message, and anything else that comes through, you answer it as quick as possible. Your phone pings up, you pick it up, you message back. Your phone picks up, you carry on doing that because this is where you get the traction. This is where you're giving that appreciation back, and that is why it works. Next, anybody who tags you in a picture, you share that right back. You wanna have 20, 30, 40, 50 stories on your Instagram that day. Why not? Someone holds up the, art, the artwork. You just share it. You say share it and you say thank you because what that does is it thanks that person but the social proof. It says anyone else who wants to do that, you're gonna get shared as well. And lastly, whilst this is a release for you, this is actually a release for everyone in your audience. That's who's getting the most value and should get the most value. So therefore, it might be your release, but today is all about appreciation. This is where you show appreciation for anybody who's involved. You're giving the value at all times. The value in the one-to-one, -one, the value with the music, the, ma the value with the video, anything you can do with retags, reshares, just because today is all about appreciating your audience for being involved in what you love. So that's my ultimate 24 hour music release strategy. It's all about one-to-ones, preparation, being organized, making sure you do as much as possible and getting that timing right to get as much momentum as possible whilst being thankful to your audience. If you can do all of that, you could get some real momentum with this release. So what I wanna know is, what else can you stick in to those 24 hours in order to get the most amount of traction with your music? What have I missed out? I want you to tell me in the comments below. On your next release, what other bits are you gonna put in? Are you gonna go live every single hour to keep talking to your audience? Are you gonna do three gigs in a row? What's the things that you're gonna do to make sure that not only you get the attention, but people are getting involved with you and they're doing the work of spreading your music? Let me know in the comments below. But, we're like, we're like this close to 100,000 subscribers and it's like ooh, it's so exciting. So 65% of you, as I always say, do not subscribe to this channel, but you watch. So come and be a part of it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, because that helps me anyway. But 
More importantly, just come and be a part of this community because I'm so proud of you guys and what we are achieving. So thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you guys soon.